This is an overview of the WooCommerce product grid. Let's get started. To get started, drag the WooCommerce product grid into your Elementor column. The first thing you'll want to do is jump into post query and in post type, select product. This will show your WooCommerce products. Inside of general, you can determine the layout. So right now you can see there's an image and underneath is the content. You can change the content to be an overlay and only when you hover over the tiles, then you will see the content. Another option is under overlap, which is sort of a small overlap underneath and partial overlay will partially overlay the image. Of course, you can make your image higher or hide different parts, which I will soon show how to do. Reveal from bottom is a hover effect. So when you hover over the tiles, the description will reveal from the bottom and side by side will show the image and the description on the other side. You can determine how many items you want in a column. So for example, I'll change this to two and this is a responsive field. So you can change this determining on the screen resolution. Direction is for RTL languages and it will change the first item from being on the left top to the right top and switch between the image and the description. Inside of the button section, we can change the text for the buttons and decide if we want to hide one of the buttons. So for example, if I want to hide the add to cart button, then only the details button will show. Let's jump into style and inside of style, we can determine how much gap we want. So the gap is over here. It's also on the vertical axis and also on the Y axis. Let's change this to 50, for example, just so you can see how that looks and we can play around with the image height. So that adapts nicely. Content background is for the background over here. So you can change this to whatever you want. I'm going to leave it a grayish color and the content padding is for the padding around the content. So you can play around with that as well. Item radius, you can make your items rounded. And if you want, you can also add a border. So I'm adding a solid border just so you can see, of course, border width and color. For the title, you can change the title color, title typography and spacing if you want. You have the same settings for the price and the sale price. So for example, if you're, you want the sale price to be more prominent, you can jump over here, change this maybe to a bigger font size, just like that, and play around with the style depending on your website design. Of course, everything has an option to space it out. For the button, you can also change all the different settings. So I'm not gonna go over all of these, but you can, really can do anything you want. Add borders, change colors, change spacing. An interesting setting over here is the button style. So instead of it being full width, we can change it to auto width. And now instead of it taking the whole width of the box, it just takes the width of the text. So if I'll add some more text, it will be a bit longer. You can also play around with the padding. This is another way that you can change how wide it is. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next video.